Are you ready to learn how to build, paint, and weather a cobblestone road for your diorama? This is the video for you guys. There's so many ways to build a cobblestone road, uh, but this is probably one of my favorite and the easiest one. So I just took uh, an old uh, paintbrush, remove all the air and everything, and uh, basically you just uh, carve into uh, your XPS foam. This is the picture I took in Normandy in September, and this is uh, basically the base picture that uh, we will try to uh, to achieve with uh, with this video. Again, today's video uh, should be a fun one. Uh, we build cobblestone for probably all of our dioramas. <laughs> so again, don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit that bell icon if you uh, if you enjoy what I'm doing. It's gonna help me. Uh, a lot so um, the first uh, layer uh, or the base color that I'm using uh, it's a color called concrete uh, from Vallejo but uh, there's also for example AK third generation you can use graphite color uh, that will be uh, a pretty uh, a pretty good base for uh, for your cobblestone road um, basically anything with uh, some kind of a, a shadow of gray or shade of gray or uh, 50 shades of gray <laughs> no that's not uh, what I'm talking about but yeah like I said just uh, in this case I'm using uh, the the color concrete it's on the model air uh, from uh, from Vallejo for the for the second part of uh, of the paint job, I'm using a, a mix of match of different color: um, dark yellow, uh, middle stone, white gray, or beige, or different color like that. It's only to give some uh, variation to your to your cobblestone. I also have a, a Patreon account, and uh, who will be my first Patreon? Um, if you want to become a Patreon, you will have access to a lot of different things like plans for building uh, uh, 3D print files or different things like that. The best way to fill the crack of your cobblestone and uh, make it more full <clears throat> is uh, by using fine sand. In this case, I'm using ballast, like really fine ballast. The only reason why is uh, I didn't have any fine sands uh, left. But fine sand, uh, like 0.25 millimeter, that's probably the best thing. Um, you can use also plaster of Paris or, or different things like that. The only thing is you have to brush out uh, on the top of your, uh, your cobblestone after you apply uh, your plaster of Paris. But normally I'm using fine sands, that's the best material for it. And you can, um, you can basically, it's, it, it's a lot easier to put everything uh, in perspective. So to put everything in place, I'm using a ballast freeze from VMS. Uh, but you can use a gravel and sand fixer from AK, or you can use a, simply a, a mix of uh, PVA glue and, uh, and water. Uh, that will do the trick. The first part of our weathering process will be uh, to apply uh, washes uh, all over our cobblestone. I'm doing it with uh, light mud uh, from Vallejo that I mix with uh, water and also flow improver. Uh, the only reason why I'm using flow improver is to make sure that uh, all my uh, my wash uh, goes uh, into the crack and, and all the crevices. So just make sure that the, it's gonna flow properly and go into all uh, the different area of the cobblestone uh, road. Uh, my advice to you guys is if, uh, if you're just starting uh, scale modeling, just buy light mud color because if you want to scratch build a lot of different things, that's the color you need. After that, we're just gonna add some uh, some kind of a debris 
um, on the, um, the, the side of the road. Uh, I'm using a fine ballast again. Uh, I'm using some, uh, some basically dirt from my backyard. And um, also, uh, it's kind of a mix that I bought like years ago. Um, it's kind of a mix of like, I don't know, leaves and, and different, different things like that. Um, so I'm just gonna use this mix, but honestly, you can use uh, whatever you want. It's only a matter of uh, getting the debris uh, on the side of the street because we're gonna paint it after all, after. So it doesn't really matter the color and it's only a matter of texture. So you have something that uh, you love uh, as a texture. Um, basically, uh, by adding uh, everything, you can have static grass, uh, you, can, uh, you can add basically anything. And uh, you're gonna mix uh, everything up. And again, I'm just uh, basically solidify everything with ballast freeze. Again, just a quick wash of uh, light mud. Uh, again, the same formula uh, with, uh, with my flow improver. Uh, the second part of our, uh, our washes is a uh, German black brown mixed with burnt amber. Probably uh, again 50-50 mixed with water and also my uh, magic formula of uh, flow improver. Um, if you're doing a wash that's a pretty, uh, pretty good thing to, to add uh, to your washes. Again, if you enjoy what I'm doing, uh, I will try to post uh, a video every single week. On uh, It's going to be on Saturday or Sunday morning because uh, I'm working uh, a lot, so uh, I didn't have time to edit my video. But I will try to post every single week. Uh, the last step uh, is to add some uh, some grass or some imperfection to your uh, cobblestone road. So I'm just using, uh, in this case, PVA glue, regular PVA glue, um, to be able to fix uh, your static. You can use static grass, or in, in this case, I'm using a, what we call a a flock or, or whatever you call it but it's kind of a grass uh, made of sponge you can do it yourself I'm probably gonna do a video uh, in the future on how to do your uh, your own uh, your own flock but uh, yeah that's probably one of the last piece of the puzzle uh, just adding some more details and um, like I said make make your street uh, more uh, more lively or more real um so basically you just remove uh remove the surplus uh with everything and the last and easy step to do is i'm just gonna use again my uh german black brown uh to put everything uh on uh, on top of uh of the grass and everything like that so really hope you enjoy guys and um Next week I will be posting um, the big cat. So I uh, will do a video on the on the Yagtaga uh, 135 from Tacom. It's probably gonna be a four or five part series that I will build it. A lot of add-on and I also uh, do some castile texture and everything like that. 